Okay, so here we are. We're live. Um, the kids are gone. Um, the kids are gone. Um, they went camping, which is kind of crazy. Hi, Christy Lee. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to go get my phone so I can read comments. Um, So it's kind of crazy. The kids have gone camping. So I'm videoing myself, um, which is kind of crazy. And hi, Christy. And we have very limited internet because I think a cell phone tower has been taken out because of the fires, I'm guessing. I don't know. We can't run credit cards. Um, I am trying to get an email from a gal so I can send her fabric. And... Um, Christy, it's insane. It's like stupid. Like I should cancel it, except for I know Peggy just called me and said that you guys are all waiting. So I'm here I am. And as soon as, um, okay, wait, I got, hi, Betsy. Hi, Cindy. Um, as soon as um, Karen finishes ringing somebody up, then I will um, demo how to do a dimensional leaf. So first, I want to show you, hi, Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn, if you're still having problems, um, let me know. And I think your question was if you could make it, if you could do the border print smaller. Hi, Terry. Um, if you could make the border print because it got cut kind of crazy. I think as long as you do all of your triangles, eight and a half inches, it will still line up correctly. But you still have those other three rows. So if you want to do the other three rows at the 10 and a half inches, you could do that. Hi, Ann. Thank you, Ann, for your note the other day. I haven't responded only because everything is so crazy. Okay, so I have here, um, let me see. I'm going to see if I can do it without the kids. It's like you don't realize how important the kids are until you're stuck by yourself. And then you realize that you have no idea what you're doing. But, okay, so somebody wanted to know how to dye their own, um, how to paint their own sky fabric. They wanted to know the setup. So this here is what I use. Um, let me see, I gotta figure out. It's been all taken apart. Um, so I use this PVC pipe and, except for one is going backwards. Um, obviously, I haven't used it yet lately. Someday we'll get organized, but don't hold your breath. I think that's part of the creative process. Um, okay, so this goes in here, and then let me flip that one around. Um, I hope you can see it. You're on the tripod, so I'm not so sure that you can see it. Um, so the kids went camping. Um, I'm going to take you with me in to get a piece of fabric so that you can see. But that's basically surely the... Um, okay, Carolyn, talk to me later about... I'll, I'll call you. I'll FaceTime you so we can talk about... Hi there. Hi. Um, I'll FaceTime you so that we can talk... Uh, oh, UPS? Look at... Aren't you guys so excited? Look what's outside the window. The cute little UPS guy. Look, he thinks he's going to the back door that's locked. Um, okay, here is a sky fabric. So I'm gonna show you, we talked about this um, briefly here, I'll flip it around um, so you don't get so dizzy. Um, we talked briefly in the landscape class about dyeing your own fabrics. So, not really dyeing, but um, they call him, Mickey Lawler calls it sky dyeing. But really it is painting with fabric. So you would take your piece of white fabric and so all of these have been done on here. So you would just spread it out like this. And if you come to the shop, you can actually just use ours or you can have somebody or yourself uh, build you a little PVC pipe like this. The only problem with this is 
unless you get more pipe, it's hard to um, make it a different size. So you're gonna just pull your fabric tight and you're gonna get your fabric wet. Um, you want it to be really wet and then you're gonna to wanna to spray mister also. Um, and you wanna pull your fabric tight. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna come read the comments since since the kids, oh my God, so Gracie, my sister picked the kids up yesterday to take them camping. It's their first time camping. And Gracie called me this morning and wants to know when I'm gonna pick her up because there's no bathrooms to use. Um, okay, so that basically, surely if you're watching or if you watch later, that's the setup for the how to paint your skies. And then I just use any kind of paints that I have and I just dilute them with water. Here's another one that I did. Um, getting the yellow and the pink in there is a little bit tricky because a lot of times it just turns into like a muddy color. But here's another one that I did that was just blue. So they're super fun to do. Um, really any kind of fabric paints will work. But it is kind of nice to use your own fabrics as opposed to um, your own fabrics as opposed to um, commercial ones. Um, Christy, I use any kind of fabric paint. Um, here's some that I just got. This is, um, I don't know if you can see. There's a fluid textile paint that we sell from Artistic Artifacts. Um, I have a big bin just full of uh, paints. Some of them are like tool paints. Um, just really whatever I have, I use. And then, um, okay, I'm just trying to go through the little um, comments. Since the, nobody's yelling at me, the comments, um, so that's basically what we use. You can also use um, Well, I was going to show you some other textile mediums, but their um, Pro chemical fabric paint is great. Yeah, I think anything that you can paint with is perfect. I'm not really a snob about that Oops, my dad's trying to call me. He doesn't realize that like they're, him and my mom are trying to get on the um, live and he doesn't realize that I can't talk to him in the middle of it. Hi, Elizabeth. How, oh, it's Lisa. Um, you girls and your double names. It's hard to keep track of you. Um, okay, so what we're gonna show you today is the um, thread painted leaf, which is crazy to show you while it's just me. But so this is a thread painted leaf leaf right here. I don't know if you can, here, let me turn it this way. I know I'm going to make you guys dizzy going back and forth. So here is the thread painted. See how I've just done the vines in a variegated thread. So what you're going to do, if you go to Fabric Chicks, um, go to Fabric Chicks Stitch Along, and then the free pattern for this is there. And if you download it, you can just trace it onto your fusible. So this is what I've done. Well, I had Devin cut it out so that I can just lay it here. So I've put my fusible. The fusible that you use is gonna be whichever fusible is your favorite. Um, I like Steam Seam 2 light, but I know things are a little bit hard to get a hold of at the moment. So just use whatever you've got. Some people like Wonder Under, some people like Soft Fuse. I do not like Soft Fuse because it's too fragile. And I, um, the Soft Fuse is too fragile and I just, it gets wrecked with me. So, um, so I like Steam Seam too light. And so this is what I'm gonna do. I hope you can see me. I've got the, I've already ironed my fusible onto one side of the fabric. I'm gonna trace my pattern here. 
Um, let's see if I can fit this on here. I just found a scrap upstairs. So it doesn't fit, it, well, it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna kind of do a rough, a rough drawing here. It's a leaf, if it's not perfect, like the pattern, it doesn't really matter. And Devin cut it out, and you know he is lazy, so he just did a really rough cut. So here is my leaf drawn onto my fusible. I am gonna cut this one out perfectly because I'm gonna iron this onto another fabric. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see with me. So you can see here is the Peggy, I got on finally. Thank you for calling. Um, yeah, Misty Fuse is for applique, but it's also, if you've got, Misty Fuse is really good if you've got sheer fabrics. But even Misty Fuse is too fragile for me. I'm too rough with things. Because I throw it in my bag, then I take it home, and then I forget about it, I lose it, whatever. So here is the leaf. I'm gonna have one piece of fabric and then a second piece of fabric with fusible in the center. So that's what I have here. I've ironed my fusible onto one fabric and then hi Penny and then I traced it onto the fusible. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to iron it onto another piece of fabric and then on the the second piece of fabric, I don't want to necessarily cut that out right away because I want a little bit of extra to hang on to so that I can thread paint it. And then do you girls need me to show you how to thread paint again or do you know how to do that? Hi, Marilyn. Um, Marilyn, I think you are the furthest one away right now. She's all the way in Alaska. Um, the rest of us are all from California, Nevada. Um, but so... So this is what you're gonna do. Is anybody confused about this process? Hi, Phyllis. Phyllis is like three blocks away. Um, all right, is anybody else, it, do you guys understand how to do that? The um, double-sided, thread-painted. Oh, Carol's, I didn't even see you on there, Carol. You know what, I just cut your three one yards. So they're in the bag, your bag for Friday. So here's what I did with my double-sided leaves i made a huge quilt this was for like a uh um shop pop a couple years ago and the theme was leaves so i um so i just made a bunch of these double-sided leaves and then just threw them on the quilt and then the tree trunk has texture magic so you can see they're all thread painted at one point all of them had material magic and they were all very stiff but this is several years old and it's kind of been thrown in and out of suitcases, so it's not really too stiff anymore. But I did take one, hi Connie. I did take one right here and I put Tyrael Magic on it this morning. It's still drying. So I've got the Tyrael Magic on it and then I kind of just scrunched it up in my hands. And so it, um, it'll dry stiff. You can also use it um, in the center of your table in the fall. You could just make a bunch of these. If you don't want to make a quilt, you could just make a bunch of those and throw them in the center of your table. Mary Beatty, if you want to um, go with me to Rita's um, uh, memorial, it's going to be Monday at 11 a.m. Um, so if anybody's interested in going to Rita's memorial, it's going to be Monday at 11 a.m. Um, Lisa said she just used the, the Tyrael Magic and it was great stuff. It is. I use it all the time for a bunch of stuff. Okay, so do you girls have any questions about the um, double-sided leaf? It is a free pattern. Devin put it on the Fabric Chick Stitch Along. So if you want the free pattern, just join the Fabric Chick Stitch Along, which is on the side of the page, the Facebook page. And then I think that's kind of all that I have for today because um, I'm going to leave early and go, um, go down and check on the kids camping. I'm not sure if they're going to need to come home early or if they can handle going to the bathroom in the woods. 
Um, but we will have our sale on Friday and um, what else? Material Magic is great for making the edges not fray. You are correct, Penny. So everybody should have a bottle of Tyrael Magic at their house. Um, use it. Um, it's even good to just press all your fabric before you cut it to um, piece with because it will make it stiffer. Um, it's not real stiff stiff. I dilute it like 50% um, water. Well, probably like 70% water. 70% Tyrael Magic, 30% water. Um, all right, do you girls have any other questions? Um, hopefully the kids will be back by Friday so that um, they can video the celebration. So Friday we will have a celebration at noon and tomorrow night I will, or tomorrow at three I think it's gonna be Linda McGee has something else she wants to teach us. So three o'clock on Quilt Show Reno. Um, give us a hint of what you will show on Friday. Hi Stephanie. Um, I don't know. What are you girls interested in, Ann? What, what is it you girls are needing? I kind of feel like you have everything in my store. Although every time I look around, we I do find stuff that we haven't done. Thank you, Penny. It's kind of hard. I need the kids to like interact with. Um, all right, I'm Connie. I'm boring. Well, you, oh. I'm boring. No, you're not boring. You were busy with <laughs> customers. I know it's crazy because we have a big fire going on and so I think it's affected one of our cell towers so we have very limited internet so I'm surprised we were even able to get through this live. Solids. Um, well, I don't have too many solids um, but I do have these which are solid-y. Do you guys want those on the celebration? Um, I could do border prints again. And I do think you have everything in my store. That is a true statement. Um, we haven't really done the Marsha Dursey. I don't know if you girls are interested in blacks and whites and kind of crazy stuff. Um, I don't know. There's so much in the store. Um, it's kind of, oh, UPS did just come. Do you have any? I do have some new fabrics in. Um, We've got interfacing. If any of you girls need interfacing, that's a sewing line, an ombre, uh, lots, oh, tons of interfacing. And then hang on, Moda. We got a couple of boxes from Moda. Okay, don't, I don't wanna make you dizzy. Oh, look at it, it's so exciting. Anybody need black fabric? Apparently. Moda just got in their black fabric. So if you need black fabric, that's about all that came in today. So not exciting. Okay, tone on tones, blacks and whites. And let's see. Oh, we did get a new sunflower line. Let me see. Um, I'm trying not to make you dizzy. Okay, Christy Lee, how much black do you need? Well, don't tell me now. I'm going to put it on sale. I'm going to have black at a good price on Saturday, on Friday. So that this is a new sunflower panel. Um, it is not black magic, but it is it's basically the same thing. But black magic is on back order forever because Cheryl bought it all. Okay, so there is the new panel that just came in. Sunflowers and bees. It does have a border print. And these fun coordinating fabrics. So I'll put those on the um, Friday sale, even though we just had bees on there, I think. Um, but I'll put that on too. And then we might get some new stuff between now and then. It seems to come in like daily. We got you. Two or three boxes in, but I haven't had a chance to open them up. So I well, don't know she, what they She thinks are. they might be something exciting. She doesn't realize mm -hmm. we already opened them up and it's just black fabric. Oh, but that's exciting. We have black fabric. Yeah, so exciting. We got black fabric. Okay, I'll do border prints again because I think you girls didn't get enough of them or something. 
or you're so excited now about the border print, how easy those are to make. Um, so yeah, I'll go around. Do you guys see anything else? Does anybody need wide backs? Dolls, more panels. Oh, it might be time to work on fall stuff, girls. There's some cute fall panels. I'll see if, I think Gracie already did those at 50% off, but I'll see if she wants to do them again. Um, so that's about it. Um, I am putting together another landscape class because we've had a bunch of people who didn't realize that I did that last minute, which is kind of how I do everything in my life. So we'll do, um, okay, Carolyn, um, we will do another landscape class. And I think I'm going to do, for those that were in the landscape class, um, in your bags, we got all of the books and threads. So in your bags, that will go out on Friday-ish. Um, so we will do, a, I think, a little mini class on the threads and the thread book when you girls get them. Maybe next week or the week after. Um, so that's it as far as I know. All right, we will talk to you guys tomorrow at 3, Quilt Show Reno. And then we will... Um, Oh my gosh, Marilyn, you're my favorite. You're always so enthusiastic. It doesn't really matter what I say. You're just happy. Um, so we will get that together, try to get that together for um, Friday. And then um, tomorrow, Linda McGee at 3 o'clock. And then next Tuesday is going to be a fun one. I'll give you a sneak peek. Um, Karen from Twisted Scissors is coming down to the shop to do her live interview. So she's gonna have a bunch of kits and um, fabric and a bunch of stuff. All right, see you guys soon. Take care, um, have a great day and do something creative. Post it on the Fabric Chick Stitch Along, whatever you're working on. Talk to you later.